I'm really hoping that this is gonna help. It was so tight that she was having a hard time assessing. Second day at work, how was it? Lou's gonna try and make, uh, Lou is going to successfully make. Thank you. <laughs> a cauliflower pizza for supper. Why don't you shut up and get out of my life? <laughs> so cold today. <laughs> Happy hump day guys, Ralph coming at you from the limousine. Thank you mom and dad. I am on my way to my first physio appointment. Well, first since we have been here, so over a year. I'm really hoping that this is gonna help with some of the lingering symptoms that I'm having with the concussion. I have a lot of neck strain and stuff. So I'm excited about that. Lou is at work today. She's enjoying her new job so far, so that's awesome. And uh, it's freezing. So cold and windy. I'm here. Wish me luck. All right, I'm back from my appointment. Whew, my neck feels pretty good. I had um, some neck manipulation and uh, acupuncture and it actually really feels a lot better I'm kind of excited to focus on physiotherapy for the next little while in the neck um, the lady was the physiotherapist was saying that a lot of the residual symptoms could be transferred from some of the tension in my upper neck she said it was so tight between my C1 and C2 which are the first the top two vertebrae in your spine it was so tight that she was having a hard time assessing um, what was going on so that sucks but it's good to know what's happening too she's gonna be focusing on those suboccipital muscles that kind of go from the base of your skull and connect down to your C1 and C2 and and do uh, control range of motion and stuff up there but can also become tight and transfer to visual issues and muscles in your face which is something that I've been dealing with a lot of so I'm excited to see how that unfolds acupuncture was weird the one on the hand hurt a lot actually for some reason but um i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty good i have to boogie off to another appointment and it's uh crazy blustery out so bye Nothing. I, no, <laughs> there's just a drift right here. It's okay. It's a wintry day. I picked this chica up from work. Second day at work. How was it? Great. I made vegan gluten-free gingerbread men. Vegan gluten-free gingerbread men. Yeah. And apparently that recipe never works. But guess who made it work? Oh snap. Lou made it work. I added the wrong rice flour, but it ended up being delicious, so. That's good. I, I'm like that it's a chill place here, enjoying. I kind of need that right now. Yeah. So we are going to go grab a coffee or something at the cafe. <laughs> Cold out. And also we're doing a white elephant gift thing at my parents, uh, my family's Christmas. So we're going to go grab some gifts for that. Like just like little five dollar gifts? Yeah, just like cheap little gifts. Okay. And it's a fun little game we play at Christmas. Cauliflower. Lou's gonna try and make. Uh, Lou is going to successfully make. Thank you. <laughs> a cauliflower pizza for supper. So I'm excited about that. And we bought boccaccini. Boccaccini. Do you pronounce the N or no? Boccaccini. Boc. 
Bo it's there is no Bocon. Oh, it it's is. It's B O C C O N C I N I. No, you just say Bocon. Bocon Chini. Bocon Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Check it out. This is all made with <clears throat> cauliflower and basil and cheese and one egg. An egg and brushing with olive oil. I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. Me too, because I feel like it's really moist. It is quite moist, but I think it'll be delicious. It will dry out, I think, when you have it in the oven for a bit. It's done. That looks Interesting. Amazing. That looks pretty good. I, I'm just really Is it going to hold together? How about the crust? I don't know. It, it might. I'll, wait, I'll let it cool a little bit and then cut into it. It just smells like cauliflower. <laughs> Do you just smell cooked cauliflower? Not, not overly, like not ridiculous. Well, obviously I'm excited. it's just I think cauliflower, it... but... That looks so cool! How is it? It's a little... Can't, this doesn't work. It's sticking to it. It's a little, little crumbly, but... Is there like a plastic picker-upper? Mmm. I want to see if you can actually pick this. No. I, don't, I don't think you can. I can't. It's really crumbly, but it's not bad. What do you mean it's not bad? It's delicious. Do you like it? Well, let me try this. You have to like cauliflower, obviously, to like it. Yeah. It's good. I'd eat it again. But it's like, it's pretty crumbly on the crust. Yeah. You really need a fork, which is fine. I think it was a little bit um, too wet. You have to kind of dry it out once you put it in the food processor. Yeah, and we didn't have Parmesan there. That would be good in the crust. That would have kept it together, yeah. Mozzarella. Came upstairs to this. Evidence that the rentals hopefully enjoyed their pizza. I don't know, but they took some. And <laughs> I noticed these earlier this week and they're not ours. Oh, there's not that many in them. But I made pizza so I can steal them. <laughs> steal their Kit Kat bites, right? Why do you make Kit Kat bites? Why don't you shut up and get out of my life? <laughs> so wonderful. Almost, Does that answer a, your question? almost threw a ping pong paddle on my head. Not almost, I thought it. People yeah. think stuff like that all the time. <laughs> you know what? This piece of crap. What is this? I'm eating one. I also have a lot of cupcakes and like 300 cookies. In the freezer. So I might have one of those later too. And then I might just sit down and think about how fat I'm gonna get. Anything you wanna say about that? No, I don't think there is. So you can shut up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs>